hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday, y'all. It's Friday, it's Friday. How are you all doing? Troy, Troy, messing with my stuff. Hi, Teresa Cherry. Hi, Miss Linda. Hi, Beth. Hi, Sheila. Hello, Sue. Hi, Miriam. Hi, Miss Wanda. Hi, Carol. Thank you, Miriam. Hola, Eddie. How are you? Oh, there he is. Troy, Troy, our friends are saying hi in your room. I know you got to charge it. Hi, Miss Edie. Hi, Annette. Oh, it's on, son. It's on. Um, Here you go. Hi, Jamie. How are you doing? All righty. Hi. Tell Mama hi, Ari. Is she okay? Is she doing good today? All right, I see you guys doing the things. Let me keep up. Let me keep up. So obviously today is Happy Mail Friday. Once again, hello, my name is Terry Lightsey. I am on Teresa Renee's page for the third time this week because, as I've said, she is on vacation. So I'm just streaming and letting some activity happen on her account. So, um, you know, it just doesn't doesn't go like stagnant or anything like that. <clears throat> on um, Hi Julie Conlon on Fridays, as you can see by the little ticker here, on Fridays is Happy Mail Friday. So if you are sure to be following me and you share and like the video, your name goes on uh, the name of the wheel of names. And then at the end, when I'm done crafting today, we'll spin the wheel and then pick a Happy Mail winner. Hi, Martin. Hi, Beth. How are you? So usually at the beginning, it takes me a minute because anybody who's doing all of the things today, I have to try my best to keep up and put the names on the wheel so I don't have to do it at the end. Hi, Angela. Hi, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. anyhow. Mm -hmm. Today we have a new project that we're going to start. Um, Troy, I'm not sure what you're doing, love. Oh, you can't get in. There you go. So I will show you what we have in store today. Golly, you guys are quick. Hi, Jill. Good evening. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Dana. Ah! Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm just trying to keep up with all the shares because, you know, I don't like to do it all at the end because then I have a bunch of names to try to get, try to get all on there. Thank you, Jill. Um, so any plans for the weekend, guys? How was your week? Tell me. Talk to me. Tell me all the things. You guys have any fun plans? Good morning, Jesse. Same, Beth. Hmm. I'm sorry. All right. Because of you, I did clay molds and they turned out great. Yes. Awesome. Hi, Miss Kathy. How are you? That's so amazing. I actually have, I actually have um, a few of the molds on my desk. Oh, Jill, you're going to see what's on my desk. As soon as I can get my chair to scoot in. Hi, Andrew. Good evening. All right, let me put my desk on the screen today. <sighs> Whew. It's still hot, y'all. It's still hot. There, I was going to say, Angela, I'm going to end up putting your name on this wheel, even if you don't tell me. Thank you. Okay, I've been cleaning and organizing my craft room again so I can find stuff and work. Can you come and do mine, too, please? <laughs> Live for small English. MDF company prep for Pintart live next week. Oh, 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 bake cookies today and get the babysit. Oh, your grandbaby. Yes, the gingerbread molds. <laughs> okay, so this is the um, ginger and spice, right, guys? Ginger and spice, I think. Let me grab it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, ginger and spice, IOD ginger and spice mold. Girl, you need to do mine. Oh, God, Miss Wanda. Things multiply around here. I tell you what. So, 
one thing that's real super cute right um it won't work for the girl because of her bow you can take you know take the bow off but like the bobble mold bobble molds go back to back but the boys you can actually do back to back and the mom and dad you can go back to back but because of her bow you can always take her bow off and then put like a fabric bow a real bow on there and then she would go back to back too which is really cute hi Rennie, how are you hi Callie long time no see I have some seen some cool Halloween figures made with this mold oh really have you so and I also have the pumpkin mold if you guys remember I did this um casting when I was showing you how to do the form flex so I just kept it in this little bunch because um I thought, you know, it could work. I don't know. But I will set this aside. Where am I going to put this at? Onyx doesn't take off with my gingerbread men and girls. <laughs> For real. I'm going to see a gingerbread man hanging out of her mouth. Oh, my word. Okay. So today, and I have all the links in the description. Thank you, Rennie. Hi, Leona. Let me get your guys' name on the wheel. Um, Rennie. Galanos. Is it Galanos? Oh, thank you, Callie. Okay, so I have all of the links down in the description. I say down, but I think in it's down in YouTube, up in Facebook. I've ordered a teardrop shaped ornament so the ginger and spice mold would go, would go perfect. Oh, awesome. Thank you. I sure will get all the cuddles I can get. Oh, isn't that amazing? Did I do any cool? Okay, so these aren't in the description because that was smart. Um, because these are just from the dollar store. These are just the hay bales from the Dollar Tree. Um, so I picked these up because we're going to do this today. So this is just a galvanized metal wheelbarrow. And I got this at Michael's. Um, the link is in the description. It says $16.99, but there's no way on earth I paid $16.99. Link for the clay. For the um, form flex, it's in the description as well. Uh, missing any one video is too many. Been so occupied. Yeah, you know, life is, you know, that adulting stuff is inconvenient, I tell you. <laughs> so I was either going to do the wheelbarrow and have you know, like a hay bale ride and have like the hay bales in there. We have some, um, I can't even think of what it's called. Or I was gonna do the pumpkin, which is super cute too, right? So let me move this out of the way. So it's the pumpkin, but I think I'm gonna do something else with the pumpkin more maybe like, I don't know, story-esque with the pumpkin. So we'll do the wheelbarrow. So here's what I was thinking. Um, we will do some decoupage on the side. You guys need to help me choose if we're gonna do Dainty and the Queen, Red Stripes, or if we should do the Field of Sunflowers. And so we're gonna decoupage on the sides of the, um, the wheelbarrow. My fan, y'all, is on because it's hot -sy -topsy. And then we're going to use just this part, the Fresh Daily on the, um, what is this? The Fresh Sunflowers A4 Decoupage Queen Mold. And we're going to stencil the Fresh Daily here on the sides. And then we're going to do like a cute little, you know, we're going to have our gingerbread family inside here. Um, I have the small pumpkins, ooh, pumpkins. I have all kind of, all the things, all the things. So um, I've given up and retired from adulting. Oh, is, is that a thing? Can we do that? I'm, I'm, we're doing, I'm, I want to, I want to retire too. <laughs> I don't want to adult any longer. I have to sign me up, Rini, sign me up. So what do you guys think? Do you think we should do the Dainty and the Cream red stripes or should we do the sunflowers? I love the sunflower stripes. All right, y'all. 
one and one. You love the pumpkin, Sheila? I know, I love the pumpkin too, but I'm thinking like, I want to do something like maybe fairy tellish with the pumpkin. I don't know. We'll see. Either that or I'll just, you know, we'll do it again for Thanksgiving and, um, or, and, or, you know, Christmas time or something. Sunflower, sunflowers, stripes, sunflower, stripes. I love both. Stripes, sunflower, 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 stripes. <laughs> okay, it looks like you guys are saying sunflowers. One, two, three. Stripes. Oh, okay, I lie. All right, so let's look at this. Because I'm not going to put them this way. I mean, I could, but that would look kind of, I don't know. I would rather it go this way. And then if we put the sunflowers on there, are we going to get enough of the sunflower on there to be a sunflower? Maybe not. Or you're selling gingerbread fresh daily. <laughs> I actually... Um, I don't know if that's going to look good because it's such a small area. We're just going to get a lot of these brown. Do you guys see what I'm saying? Because it's such a small area, we're going to get a lot of the, the middle. I have sunflowers, y'all. Don't you worry about that. Okay, so we'll we'll do the stripes and then can do sunflower, add sunflowers to it, right? We'll we'll do the best of both worlds. Can you do a crafting with Troy Troy live stream sometime, Terry? Of course, he will be all for that. He would love that. He would. <laughs> he would. I don't know that he's gonna let me be in the in the shot, but oh yeah, he'll he would love that. All right, so I'm trying to think now what is going to be the best way for me to get. Oh, they're the little circles. So I think let's just make a little imprint. Of. So this weekend, those of you who have already paid for the class, I'm going to um, send out or put that stuff together and send it out. So if you get something, um, that's what that is. I'm just going to, I'm not going to wait, you know, until the last minute. So as they are, as you guys are signing up for the class, I'm just going to start, you know, getting the stuff ready. So if you, whether it's just the downloads or whatever, I'll either send the downloads to your email or you'll have this stuff out to you. Um, so Troy, Troy and I will get that ready this weekend. All right. I am actually going to turn it around maybe. Let me bend this a little bit better for the bottom. Because you know I can't pop, pack a box without the Troy boy helping now. That's like the, that's the thing around here now. Whoop. So Carol's going to get hugs from her grandbaby. You guys have any other plans going on? Actually, don't do it, Terry. Don't do it. Troy is 22. He will be 23 on Veterans Day. And Trevor is 21 and will be 22 on December 1st. Hi, Donna Sue. How are you? Aw, thank Donna Sue. That's so, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I will get your name on the wheel um, in just a second. All right, let's make sure. 
so I'm going to be able to tuck it up under that little that little ridge there. So I'm not going to be too fussed. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and just kind of use the ruler that I like and then hit the rest of that with the gator so I can get a clean edge. So I'm actually going to make it a little longer than I want and use my ruler. And just do a dry. Then I can actually do this side too. So um, Nick is in our room and he has rearranged. I am in shock. You don't look old enough to have children that age. Rennie, this is my last in in a few days, y'all. I'm gonna be 49. My last year in my 40s. My last year. It's all good, though. But, yes. So, anyways, so Nick is in our room, and he's that's where his computer is all set up. And he's, like, got a whole new speakers thing going on in there and doing all the things, all the things. So, Troy, Troy, right before I'm coming on, Decides, hi, Sylvia. Um, decides that he wants to move his whole computer system into his room because he wants to do all the things that Nick's doing. Um, no way you don't look that old. I am. I promise. <laughs> so I'm like, Troy, and the way Troy is, which you guys should all probably gather by now, is like, he's, if you're not going to do it for me, Mom, I'm just going to do it myself. And uh, so I said, no, Troy, you don't need to move it into your room, son, because you're going to, and he started to pick up that monitor and started to grab that computer tower and i'm like all right i guess i'm moving it for you again <laughs> i, like, I should have known to even attempt to say anything to him like no that he and the thing is is i've talked to you guys about how how strong troy's upper body is because of you know he modified his crawling when he was small he didn't get up on his knees and hands. He army crawled. So he is freakishly strong, his upper body and his hands. So he will he will pick that stuff up and he will move it. And then he will set it back up, which is amazing. But, yeah, but, you know, he walks so gingerly um, that it makes me super nervous. So, yeah, I'm like... <laughs> Try to tell him no. Who do you think you are? <laughs> All right. So I don't much care about the little bumps. I could rip right here and then, you know, I'm not going to fuss with it. If anything, what we can do is probably crackle all of this. Ooh, I think we're going to do some crackle today, y'all. But yeah. So, anyways, that was that happened right before he came on. Hi, Marcia. Hi, Marianne. My grandson did the crab crawl. The crab crawl is that similar to what I'm saying? Thank you, Marianne. So, yeah. His hands, like if he grabs my hand or if he grabs something like Onyx, her neck. <laughs> so serious. I have to go over there because he doesn't realize like you're about to choke her out. Like she got to let go, you know. So, but yeah, it, it's kind of funny. I know I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> I'm I'm good, Marianne. Thank you. How are you? Hot. I'm still hot, which is pretty crazy. Okay, so let's get, actually, let's do this long side. I know you guys, 
can't see really, but I'm just going to measure that out right there. And then, um, did I miss somebody? That's how he gets you to do things. Hi, Diana. Oh, Diana, how are you? How are you, Diana? How is your how is your husband? I hope you are I said my prayers while I was in the shower today, y'all. You guys who need prayers were all in my prayers, are always in my prayers. I'm just gonna make this easy and not try to work with the whole paper. I'm just rip. And then I'll form it to that, which is what I should have did to make my life easier last time. All right, so now let's do it that way. And then I will use my nail to get up in there. I should get my score tool out. So I have a, a folio that I'm making for Teresa Renee. Um, so I had all of that out yesterday. And, you know, my whole, it's a whole production when I do scrapbook albums. And, um, and of course, you know, Troy Troy wants to cut paper and all the things too. This is the first time I started trying to make a scrapbook album while we've had Onyx. Lordy, Lord have mercy. We had all the papers everywhere. And they were having a blast too. There we go. I should have did it that way the first time. Durr. Um, and also, you guys know I use the pent art. Um, hi, Teresa Renee. Did she just hear what I just said? You're sneaky, Teresa. Aren't you supposed to be on the beach? His butt was in the air. His butt was in the air. Huh? None of my business, but what was Troy diagnosed with as a child? You didn't hear me? Good. Now, I just said that I'm making your folio. And so I had that out on my desk or out all, I have a whole production when I was doing that yesterday. And so Troy Troy and Onyx liked very much to play with their own paper and everything, everything. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say? Yay. <laughs> yep. I will say though, Teresa, I was like, man, what do I, the cover is always the stump for me. Like, cause you know, the cover is everything. And I almost messaged you, what do you want on the cover? But I said, nope, I'm just gonna do it. I, I'm just gonna pick. But yeah, so Troy Troy and Onyx were having a field day with all the scraps and stuff and had it all over the place. <laughs> I made scrapbooks for my two sons. My daughter is waiting. She is now 32. <laughs> Mary Ann. <laughs> She's now 32. <laughs> Hi, Lynn. Hi, Holly girl. Tell Holly girl. Hi from me and Troy Troy. <laughs> She's 32. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. So we'll get this. And then I'll tuck those up underneath, like I said. And then we'll get the gator and stand these off really quickly. What was your first craft? My first actual craft? Um, besides, like... Um, scrapbooking and then um because i did watercoloring i my background comes from watercoloring my first craft was actually like a mixed media canvas 
Um, I still have it. It's actually in my, um, it hangs in my, in the maps, my bedroom, my bathroom. But yeah, it was, I mix, it was a mixed media canvas. And then I was stuck on that for a long time, just doing nothing but mixed media for a long time. I had knew nothing about mixed media and, you know, and decoupage. And when I found decoupage, I was like, wait a minute, what is happening? What is this stuff? It's not napkins. It's not ripping. What's happening? I will. Because it's still, I still have it. It's in my, uh, it's in my bathroom. I see it every day. All right. And then. One thing I haven't done in a while is any um, of my watercolor paintings. I haven't even done any of my hand lettering that I did. I, you know, cause when you uh, do hand lettering, it's, you know, you need to practice. You need to keep up doing it just like anything. If you don't do it, you know, you lose, you lose memory and I was, I was t just thinking about that the other day because I was trying to clean my stuff, y'all. Trying to clean up stuff. And I know I just need to just, I just need to start purging. That's what I really need to do. I'm going to tuck this little excess underneath the little ridge there. Okay, don't want to keep sticking in there. So then we have that side. And then, yeah, the muscle memory is, oh, thank you, Annette. Oh, no problem. Ever crochet or knit? No, but you know what? My mom was amazing. Um, she used to crochet. Like every time someone, one of, you know, us kids, there's four of us. So anytime we had um, kids, each one of them got their own baby blanket. She would, um, she was just amazing at that. She would make like dashboard covers for the car and all the things. And um, I tried, couldn't do it, could not do it. I don't know if I didn't have the patience, the know-how, the I don't know, but I just I could not do it. And she used to just sit there and you know not even look and be watching TV and just going, going, going. And I used to roll her yarns for her, you know, because she'd take them all the time and take them apart and. I'd have to roll them out and re-roll them for her. And I just, I don't know. I just couldn't do it. Okay, so same thing. I'm just going to use my nail to find out where that ridge is up there. And then let it hang a little bit. I wish I could, but nope. And then I had my sister-in-law, she used to do the, what is it, the, what is it called with the, the needle, with the hoop? Oh, my God. You know what? My memory today, I couldn't even think of what burlap was called earlier. I was staring at it going, what is this? What is this? What is this? Like burlap. Oh, my gosh. I could not think of what it was called. Um, but yeah, so my sister-in-law, she made awesome things with that. And I tried that 
Couldn't do it. Could not do it. Was your mom right-handed? I've heard left-handed people have a bit harder time knitting and crocheting. Embroidering, yes. That's it. Cross-stitching. Oh, maybe it was cross-stitching. I don't know. Um, yes, she was, actually. She was right-handed. I'm the only, well, me and my mom's mom, my grandma, are the only left-handed ones. So... I know that it's hard when anybody tries to teach me anything, you know, because of that, when they're right-handed trying to teach me because everything is backwards. Um, I know when I was trying to learn hand lettering, it was frustrating because of that, you know, you, you push and pull differently than a right-handed person does. And so, you know, that was, but I was determined. To make that something that I could do. Real knitters don't cross stitch. I am rubbish at, at loom knitting. You, wait a minute. You're, what do you mean you're rubbish, Martin? They say you should stand behind someone to learn. Re really? Yeah, that would make sense. But when you're even when you're left-handed, though, even if you're standing behind them, everything is backwards, you know. So, got some fibers over here. Martin, what do you mean you're rubbish at loom? Isn't that? I don't think anybody's rubbish at anything, though. All right. I need to make sure, number one, that that's down in there. So I'm just going to stick my brush in there and push. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. And then same thing. I'm going to take my nail and push this up under the a little lip there. Okay. Mm hmm. Now push. All right. Okay. So we'll get, got that down. Now let's get all of the fuzzies or whatever that needs to be tucked under. Under. Do you guys think that we should crackle the outside of this? I use crochet. I used to crochet, but can't do it anymore. It hurts my hands. That was one thing um, with my mom because she had the um, rheumatoid arthritis and it was really bad in her hands. And so as she, when she was getting older, it, she didn't crochet as, as much. Um, she still did it, but she would pay for it. You'll ruin it with sunflowers, Susan's. <laughs> okay, so while we're working on the um, our other friends over here, and I'm going to keep out some of this because we can most certainly decoupage like some stripes and stuff as they're closed. So we'll figure that out in a minute. In a minute. Oh, you guys, look what I bought. Because I never say no to crackle. I know, right? I never say no to crackle. I just ask because sometimes I'm like, oh, they're probably sick of crackle. Um, I didn't tell you guys, but uh, I used to quote years ago, then my sister got into it. 
and she's a lefty and had a hard time cutting, so I made her a big lazy Susan to make it easier. Oh, that's a good idea. I didn't tell you guys, but this one, I dropped it. Like two days later, I dropped this one too. So I had to pick up, oh no. Did I pick it up? I don't know. I don't think I picked it up. I think the I used the, the vacuum and picked it up. I could not believe I dropped both of them. This, this one though was my fault because it was in the drawer and when I was pulling the drawer out, I seen it like catch the lip and it was one of those like, no! And as I pulled it went, and I was like, yeah, no, uh-uh, nope, 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 I'm just ordering it. Nope, nope, I'm not doing it. I refuse. <laughs> I was like, uh-uh. I can't believe it. Both of them. I was oh, I'm so annoyed, y'all. I was so annoyed. So I have, you need to put stickies on your fingers. <laughs> I guess so. And then I was laughing because on the website, it actually has like, a package of, um, you know, a mixture, right? You can buy the mixture. And I was like, oh, I bet you somebody in the warehouse dropped a bunch or they <laughs> something happened to them. I'm trying to make myself feel better. <laughs> yeah, I dropped those again. The first one with all the colors, I don't, I seriously still don't know how that happened. It had to have been like at an angle or something but I'm still laughing. Well, thanks. I know. I know you're still laughing. That's what I'm here for. I'm telling you, chaos is the best name for what, what happens here. Rhizome's packs have a sign that say, drop me. I think so. I think so. Um, but yeah, oh, I was so annoyed that I didn't even attempt to bend down. I was like, Went and got the vacuum, little cordless and You can hear them all hitting. Okay, so we're going to fine line crackle. You know the first rule is a clean, dry brush. Um, so we're going to go in with the number one. As usual, if you can let... This one might need to be... If you can let uh, step one and two dry naturally... It is recommended. Um, so, you know, this one needs to be tossed. Um, so if you can put it on, walk away, and then let it dry, and then come up back, put on step two, walk away and let it dry, that's preferred, but you guys know that is not real life when it comes to doing a live. So we will set it aside a little for a little minute, but we'll need to accelerate the um, the dry time with the heat gun. And then if you do accelerate it, you just want to make sure that you keep that heat moving. You don't want to leave it concentrated on one area because you will burn the product and then you will be sad. Fine line crackle is solvent based. You need to use solvent based varnish. It doesn't like any water products whatsoever. Do not use baby wipes, anything when you're using the fine line crackle. We do have a guide in the decoupage and mixed media group, a PDF file that you can download. Um, for fine line crackle, that will tell you all the ins and out of fine line if you're having any problems. And I have a bunch of tutorials um, that I've done on crackle if you're struggling with it. Your ribs hurt. Thanks. Thanks. I'm glad I can make you laugh, Sue. Okay. So we're going to set this aside. I'm sorry I keep screeching that on my glass. I'll try to stop. We're going to set this over here, and hopefully 
not touch it too much. I'll put these in there. And then let's see what we're going to do. So what I'm thinking, you guys, is that we're going to put this little family in there. So we'll have them on the hay bales. Um, but look at how cute. So the little boy is got overalls on. Isn't that cute? And look at the dad has like sweater weather sweater <laughs> with his bow tie. And the mom has bling on. Look at her bracelets. So we will definitely be using these and then we'll, well, you know what? I can't paint them all at one time. So let's just do one at a time, Terry. Come on now. And then I also have fall flowers. I also have little pumpkins. Um, I have the little, we won't use spiders. We have little pumpkins that we can do. And then I have like a really pretty acorns that we can pull out too. Um, so we'll use some of these. And then, of course, I have, oh, why did I put it there? Because you're a banana head sometimes. And then, of course, on the outside, after we do some of the, um, after we use the fresh flower stencil, we can also use some of this pretty, the pretty fall pack. Look at that. We can use some of these on there as well. So we'll use all of this stuff. I just made, ooh, something's falling. I see it. I just made two sets of the gingerbread and painted them. Oh, how cute. Tell him to walk. Well, I'll be right back. Have to go pick up hubby. Oh, tell him to walk. <laughs> That's messed up, Jamie. Look at how pretty those are. Aren't those pretty? Especially since I don't have to paint them, y'all. But, yeah, I was really good. I tried to put all the links in there for you all. Okay, so remember with this form flex, um, we have to make sure that we, you know, you keep it on... Um, the wow guys seriously i don't know what has happened to my chemo brain but it is it, it's all bad today parchment paper to dry Woo. lord lordy lordy be all right so we're just gonna do some fun colors to them so let's just pull out all the pretty things but of course we got to do blingy blings on her, and then we've got to make them a, a cool brown color because they're gingerbread, gingerbread people. So let's just pull out all the things. That's why I couldn't find this paint because that's in the wrong drawer. That doesn't belong in that drawer. Okay, so I'm just going to pull out a bunch of the acrylic matte paints. And what time are we? Oh, we're good. We are good. Hi, trees. You're left-handed, Terry. Put it on the left side. You silly goose. Okay, so let's do mom first. And are we going to color coordinate them? Because if we color coordinate them, I need to pull out my favorites, y'all. I should just put the whole stinking drawer down here now. Good Lord. You're in the wrong drawer too, sir. I don't know. I'm I'm trying to think like what colors I want. Do I want to use like reds and blacks? I know. Is the day of the full moon makes your brain dull. Huh? Hello? 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 All right. I don't know what colors to do. Because, you know, all right. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. 
Wait a minute. I know. I told you. I'm a weird one. I'm an acquired taste. That's why you all are my people. Because you have been able to put up with me for this long. <laughs> I'm sure people stumble across my lives and go, whew, yeah, let me just keep it moving, keep it moving. <laughs> She's an odd one. Let me just keep it moving. <laughs> Hi, Tina. Tina, wait. Did you message me? I think I seen a message pop up on my screen before I um, was while I was getting ready. So I will be sure to, you guys can see what I'm doing. I will be sure to um, message you back. Okay, yeah. We're just gonna mix some colors here. Okay, okay. I will be sure to check and see, check my messages. And I can't wait to paint her jewelry. <laughs> so, you know, you can get um, really detailed if you want to on these, or you could just kind of do a quick little brushing. I just spritzed it a little bit because the paint was pulling. Oh, hair, making my nose itchy. Oh, everything itchy. What color do you mix for the ginger? Oh, sorry, I just mixed the ivory and the light brown. Because as you guys know, I'm 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 weird about that one color stuff. So, and I mean, let's be. If we're, if we bake these guys, they wouldn't, you know, necessarily all be the same color. <laughs> How cute would these be, though, to do like a centerpiece with? like actual cookies, you know, like if this was like a, a setup and then you could, they, they're all edible. I think that would be so cute. To like have it on, you know, the center of your table and have like a whole little setting and then actually have these as the cookies. That would be so cute. My cookies would be burnt. I like the vintage look on the gender of people. They say she's really she's really good artist and creator, but a bit cuckoo. <laughs> I'm going to be going out to dinner with my family. Oh, it's going to be near five soon. Okay, Mary Ann. Well, thank you for stopping in and saying hi. I hope you have a wonderful dinner. Yeah, they're definitely like. If they, if you all stay, you are my people. But yeah, I, I'm sure people come across and go, whoo. <laughs> um, and of course, we will, we will give them a little more dimension and color with um, some other stuff. We're not going to just leave her face like that or leave their face just all one color. This is just the base that we'll put down for them. And then we'll go in and detail them out. Thanks, Trees. Hi, Susan. Too cute to eat. Hi, Susan Stocking. How are you? I 
I will put your name on the wheel in a minute, Trees. Don't ask me where Dracula just came from, but, you know, again. She's an odd one. <laughs> yes, yes. Although, I will say, y'all, that Troy Troy has not been out here once, except for when he was here at the beginning, when he was having me fix his phone. He has not come out here. We belong to the same crazy tribe. <laughs> Hi, Jan. How are you? I mean, you, I just, you know, you can't take yourself too seriously, you know? I mean, there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens in the world that being a little silly and goofy sometimes just nothing wrong with it. I'm serious when I gotta be. <laughs> hmm. But I can't, I, I can't watch someone who's real monotone, you know, like Ferris, Ferris Bueller, anyone, anyone. Um, I, I start to get like, I got to do something. I got to do something, you know, giggling, giggle, giggle, snort. <laughs> oh, tree. So he, right before I, um, got turned on to go live, he decided that he wanted me to move his computer from his desk out in the kitchen to his desk in his room and uh so he's been doing his thing in his room which could be good and bad because he could have gone through the room like a tornado now and have pulled everything out of the closet and all the stuff because um nick is in our room rearranging his computer sound system and everything so troy you know, of course, he's going to have to do the same thing because he does whatever brother and whatever Nick does. So if he remembers that he has something or another that he hasn't seen in a while, he's going to tear through heaven and earth trying to find it. Okay, so we have just the base on them done. What's happening? What's happening? Life would be very dull if we were serious. So I would. I love your evil little life. Hi, Lori. How are you? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so are we thinking like, I've seen somebody say like black and red, like, black and red plaid kind of stuff no delivery actually if you can believe it there's no delivery whose name did i say treese i need to get treese's name on the wheel oh lord don't forget treese's name on the stinking wheel okay so you have so you may have the heat oh no yeah 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 Dana, he's clicking all the links I put in the show. Oh, sugar. <laughs> okay, so let's do a little bit of, should we give them like Christmas outfits maybe? So we'll do a little bit of the grays and the blacks and the reds maybe. How's our, how's our crackle doing over here? Um, Almost ready for number two. Thank you, Marcia. All right. Did I miss anybody else? No. Okay. 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 What do I have all of this out here for then? Okay. I mean, I actually want to. 
I want the the acrylics out if possible because they're a little bit thinner to move on these. I don't like those. I don't like those colors. I don't like it. I don't like it. Susan, Susan Stocking. Yes, Donna Sue, I got you. Okay, Susan Stocking. Okay, all right. So now um, let's do a little bit of. Well, hello, sir. What have you been doing? Never mind. Don't tell me. Lie to me. <laughs> Doggy in black. See, Julie, that's what I was thinking. I had that same vision for him. Oh, I'm sorry, Marcia. I'm so sorry. Are you Are you feeling a little better right now? Probably the computer is not helping looking at it, huh? The screen. Thank you, Diana. I just put your name on the wheel. Okay, let's do. Um, if I mix, I will mix there, but you don't need to mix. Okay, let's do. See, we can do. Ooh, ah, e. We have waxes, so we can do base colors and then do. Oh, Okay, I got, I got it, I got it, I got. Forgot to tell you, I shared. Oh, Miss Linda. I yeah, no, I didn't put Miss Linda on here yet. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. But I don't like this color red. Let's get a, let's get the bourbon color for her. Of course, I have a white shirt on, and a brand new black. That's brilliant, Terry. Where's bourbon? Here's bourbon. See, bourbon's better. Let's do bourbon. I'm listening. Okay, yeah, Marcia, because if you've got a migraine, um, looking at the computer screen is not going to be nice. All right. Let's do her... And her, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, okay. She's even got buttons. You guys can't see squat. All right, too much, too much. Sorry guys, sorry, sorry. Okay, better, okay. She's even got little buttons. We're gonna put, um, I'm gonna get the liquid leaf and put it on her jewelry. Oh my goodness, this is gonna look so cute when we, um, use another color for her highlights because of the, the ridges on her dress. Your favorite drink? Yeah, I like bourbon. It's got, it's a very, it's a, God bless you, my son. It's a very pretty color. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, what is that? That looks like something Onyx has eaten, son. I think it used to be a phone case. So we will get the liquid, liquid. We will get the liquid, the liquid leaf, and go over her... what I am calling her jewelry. You can make it part of her dress or whatnot, but. Mm. 
and I'm not going to worry about being so careful because that liquid leaf, actually, I don't know if we'll use the liquid leaf or we might even use the pigment, the gold pigment. I think we might do that. I don't know because that liquid leaf is so strong. I'm avoiding her ruffles because I'm trying to think if I want to do her ruffles in a different color. Hi, Cheryl. Good evening. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe I'll do her ruffles in like a lighter gray color. And then you, my friend, are going to get a same colored sweater. And then your pants and your bow tie will be, I don't like the lid is too thick. I know, right? I love this color for Christmas. Okay, we just gotta. I'll get a little smaller detail brush to get around his sleeves there. And remember, I did make all of these with the form flex. Um, no particular reason other than I was playing with the form flex. And if we wanted to bend these a little bit to either, you know, to position them on the hay bales or whatever, I thought it might be easier. But you could very well do this with Joby Clay. You could do it with resin. Um, use what you have, of course, first and foremost. All right. Um, uh, Sue, can you come over to Facebook, please? Grayson, take a hike, buddy. You weirdo. All right, I got it, I think. I think I just banned him. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. I had my head down. I didn't see it. Did he come back again? I banned him, Sue. I think I got it. Weirdo. This is not a dating site, buddy. Like, what are you thinking? Do you see the gingerbread men on my table? We are not interested in your riffraff. Get out of here. And I noticed somebody in the comments harassing you guys, too, on one of my videos when I was going through looking for um, all of the shares for the wheel. 
So I, sorry I didn't catch those earlier, but I banned and blocked all of them too. Yeah, he, I don't know, he was, he sent a message to every single one of you, I think. All I looked up and all I just seen was a flood of him. So if you guys asked me something, I'm sorry, you might want to put it back in because when I looked up, all I seen was a flood of his comments. So a uh, cop, I think I seen you asking this color was the Pentart acrylic paint matte in bourbon. I do think I caught some of that, but anything else, if you guys can please put it back. If you had a question for me, I apologize. Like, dude, does that ever work for you? Like, does that approach work for you? I'm just wondering, because I'm kind of thinking you're pretty desperate. All right, so I'm just getting my favorite detail brush. And I believe all of the brushes I have started putting in the comments and just leaving them there or the description and just leaving them there so you guys can find them whenever. Um, they are always coming on crafters pages. I just block them. I just, I mean, it's like, seriously, I'm still, I'm still going to stand by the fact that the best guy was the one who asked me to do a backflip. At least he made me laugh because the thought of doing a backflip was hilarious. So at least he made me laugh. But the other, these other creepers, it's like, dude, you need to figure out that that approach is not going to, it's not, it's, it's, that's not the, that's not what's going to work for you, buddy. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> okay. So I know it probably looks a little crazy because his buttons and everything, but I'm just getting the main color down and then we'll go through and. All right, so we will make her dress red too, I guess, huh? And do her little buttons. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I will. Yeah, I'm just, I can't see who was that. Tina? Yeah, I'm just getting a base color down for them. Uh, what, Papas? Uh, I don't know, Pops. Are you, uh, you're pointing over there. Uh, Your phone. Uh, <clears throat> So, and I, I don't know what you're doing in your room. Bring a charging cord into your room, maybe. I put that whole power strip down for you, son. Yeah, I think we're going to do um, this lighter, like, char charcoal color. But we're definitely going to hit, like, she's got dots on her dress, which are going to be super cute to hit when we put in a second color and then they all have buttons and like she has a bow the mom has jewelry so we will get all of that ah. oh i i gotcha well i didn't even know where you were you can't just come in just yelling at me dang Mom, don't you understand what I'm talking about, woman? My bad, son. Yeah, so there was a guy who came in and he said, can you do a back clip for me? And we were like, huh? And we're, it was just funny because 
everybody was saying, if we do a backflip, there is no way we're getting back up from that. It was just hilarious. I mean, I think Sue ended up blocking him, obviously, but it was just, I mean, we all had a good laugh for, you know, a little bit with that because just the pure thought of doing a backflip, shoot, I think I might die if I did just a little rolling somersault. <laughs> I don't even think I don't even think I could pull that off. So, but yeah, he was, he was at least entertaining. These other weirdos, I don't know what this whole, I want to be friends stuff is all about. All right, and then him, we're going to do reverse. We'll do his little pocket red. And then him in the gray with, like, his dad's pants. So I'm cooking. I won't even try to say it. The most important ingredient of rice, I got to go. <gasps> oh, no, Miriam. Doggone it. Shoot. I have rice. I, I, I wish I could beam it over to you. Doggone, don't you hate when you when you do that? It's like something that you know you always have or like you know, you don't even think to check. And then sure enough, that's what you're out of. It's like, oh, man. All right. So let's clean this. Biryani. Biryani. Oh, come on, Olivia. Really? Take a hike, girlfriend. What is happening today? Why are these people on my uh, page? Like, I'm a nobody. I'm a little old, little old me. Go, go do something else. Go somewhere else. We don't want any. All right. I don't know why I had this open the whole time. Buy something. Do not click on any links. You guys know the deal. Where's the lid to that, though? No. My page didn't get hacked. They always do that in the comments. In people's comments, they usually just don't do it to mine because I'm not big enough for anybody to usually to give a hoot about me. <clears throat> but they're always here. They pop in every now and again. Be annoying that they are. Annoying that, you know, that's what they do. And then somebody, some unfortunate person clicks and falls into their trap and that's when I feel bad. You're a magnet today. You know what I... <laughs> You're, you're a maggot today. And I was like, I'm sorry, Miss Linda. What did I do? Hi, Carol. You're back already, huh? You didn't uh, make him walk, obviously, like Jamie suggested. All right. I swear that said you're a maggot. I was like, <laughs> Hmm. Terry. 
already. I'm telling you guys. I'm an acquired taste, I tell you. <laughs> oh, Lordy B. So, anyways. Yeah, that happened. Okay, and then after we get this down, are you leaving? Yeah. Where are you going? Oh, you're going to go run all your errands. Okay. Huh? Okay, yeah, don't do that. Okay. Okay, bye, love you. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Are you taking, are you going there? No. Click. Where's the click? Okay. Did you see that Troy Troy had me move his whole computer because of you? Thank yeah. you. I appreciate you. You're the bestest ever. Bye, Nick. Everybody says bye, Nick. <laughs> Could it be the ticker giveaway? You know what? Um. I was going to say that right before uh, Nick walked up because I usually only just put happy mail. I don't put like, I try not to put giveaway or something like that, but they know now. So I, I'm telling you guys, like, it's a real thing that these people are, you know, they scout out first words like that. Um, but yeah. Tell everybody you're going to what? You're gonna, your video will be up next week? You have lost your dog on mine. All right. Okay, they'll be waiting for it, I'm sure. They're still waiting for your Christmas house from last year. Oh, it's for this year? Oh, so for, you guys might not know. Some of you might not know. So he, we had a competition, Sue remembers. So the mixed palette, Nicole, and they're still on her website, has a bunch of houses that she did for Christmas and a Ferris wheel and everything. And I was like, oh, yes, these are going to be great. I can't wait. And so then a competition. I knew you were going to still be here. I knew. I felt you burning a hole in my head. Did you say you were going somewhere? Bye. The proper building permits. Bye. So I did my house. He's, he's listening, y'all. I did my house, but apparently he didn't get the proper building permits, so he never finished his house. And now he says, no, it's for this year. There was a competition, and then... There was supposed to be a judgment day, you know. I posted pictures of my house. And let me just tell you to those who are new to me, he went all out. He bought tubs of snow. He bought a chandelier for his house. He bought Christmas trees galore, presents, Amazon packages, little Amazon packages so he can have them on his doorstep. All the things, y'all. All the things. He didn't finish. He was putting siding on the house. Mm -mm. Nope. I, was, I thought he was still here. Uh-huh. So. Okay. He says it's for this year. We'll see. We'll see. And Trevor was doing the Ferris wheel. And Trevor had, he was decorating each, um, each, what is it, the basket, you know, because it has a basket. He was, <laughs> he was decorating each basket differently. So one of them was, um, like Rudolph. And it had, it, he, he, 
was so cute, but these boys didn't finish. I was like, what the easy wheezy? Better late than never. <laughs> Always waiting for inspectors. I know, right? Yeah, that's his. He said he was waiting for building permits. So we'll see. I'll let him. I'll still. I'll do another house. We'll see. He was doing all the things. He bought so much snow, y'all. We could have done the whole front yard and the backyard with how much snow he he bought. It said, I can't remember how many gallons and gallons it said it made, but I was like, are you kidding? He better now so we could see it. I know, I'm telling you. I was actually like, you know how my packages are always coming. He was getting packages on, pa on top of packages. He bought grass. All the things, all the things. What, Papa's? Oh, and then his excuse was, well, you didn't help Troy Troy finish his house. So, I mean, I mean, what? You know, he was using all the excuses. All right, let me tighten up his collar now. Man. Ah. Uh, and then okay wow it's almost time for me to let you guys actually go have a life because i'm sure you're getting sick of me already so i will paint his britches and then i will get the wheel so you guys don't have to deal with me for too much longer. I'll put the second coat on the um, wheelbarrow. And then I will, or the second step, I mean. And then, I don't know. I can finish painting these guys off camera and if you want, or I could finish painting them with you. You guys are probably sick of watching me do this. Um, I'll sh actually do the ladies so you can see what they're going to look like. I always think you guys get bored when I'm just doing stuff like this, painting. Sure, it's boring. I was craving gingerbread cookies early watching you make. <laughs> I know. Aw, thanks, Martin. Is it? I always get nervous. Like, it's probably boring that I'm not doing anything, just painting. I feel like I need to rush and get it done. Because I know I go longer than the hour. Like most people, you know, try to get on and off in an hour. There's no way I can do it. Not even just on my channel. That's why I say, all right but you're not gonna keep them longer for it than an hour and a half because that's just doing too much. Aw, uh, thank you guys. Aw, you guys are awesome. Thanks, Dana. I appreciate that. Well, and you guys know, like I could just sit and like talk to you all day. So that doesn't bother me at all. And now Nick just left, so. I mean, don't get me wrong. Well, Trevor stays in his room and talks to his friends playing games and, you know, have Troy Troy, of course, but. I enjoy talking and visiting with you guys. That's why I can't wait till we um, do the class because I can't. 
I hope most of you will be on camera because I don't know how much of the totes we're going to get done. <laughs> but I just can't wait to actually, I mean, that's as close as we're going to get to all being in a room together and being able to chat and like, you know, have our coffee or tea or whatever. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Are you, Julie? That's so cool. Jersey Silkies. Hello. I didn't even see you. What color are you planning to paint little Scotty? I want to paint him. What are these dogs called? Because I feel like they all have, like, every time I see these dogs, they have, like, the gray and black sweaters. I, that's what I want to do. Oh, uh, I just don't take them off because they have, like, a, you know when you take off a sticker, they're sticky. And I just don't fuss with alcohol and everything else. And the terriers, that's what they are. And then um, when I need to know the sizes and the brand, it's easier for me to tell people when I just have them on here. So that's why I do it. Um, no reason other than that. But yeah, every time I see these terriers, I feel like what I see in my head is always like, the, the 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 gray sweater with the reds and the whites. I don't know. I, that's just what I see. I don't know why. I'm just weird like that. Okay, so let me, I will finish her kind of and show you guys what I want to do for her. So then you guys will get an idea. I'm just trying to get. But I don't want to mix the, the paint for him because I don't know. I just see him special. Okay, so you guys know I've seen them either all white or in black. Scotty dogs. You guys all know what I'm talking about. So you guys know the metal pigment. And hold on, I'm going down in the depths of, you know, I need to get... I think I need a backup. Oh my word, there's a lot of stuff down here. Help! Send backup! Oh my word! I just need pigment fix! Pigment fix! Oh. Woo. So I have an overflow shelf right here of all the stuff that I know I'm going to need. I'm telling y'all, sometimes when you're tall and you got to get down in the little places, Lord have mercy. Stay down there too long and on. Well, and that's the thing why it takes me a little bit too, because I have to have it blocked off. Like there's, there's a, there's cart, a cart right here and has shelves. The bottom shelf is where I have a lot of my overflow, like pigment fixes, paints, yada, yada, yada. She will stick her little head in there and um, take off with something. And first of all, I don't want her, you know, to get anything that would hurt her. But second of all, don't mess with my products. <laughs> Okay, so before I mix in that, let's get a little bit of, I don't want the ivory. Do I want the ivory? I know you guys, I'm going over a little bit. I'm sorry, I'll pick a winner in just a second and let you guys go, I promise. Man, that ivory and this ivory is different. Oh well, that's okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll hurry, I'll hurry. I hear you, I hear you. Did I even use this? No. 
just put it in my way. Okay. All right, now let's, let's do a little bit of Thank you. Hi, Troy boy. What are you up to? Are you looking to see where Uncle Nick went? Huh? Okay, wait, Bubbies. And then we got to do her. We still look at she has little eyelashes, y'all. We got to do her eyelashes and everything, too. I'll be back on Sunday, you guys. I promise I won't keep you guys for much longer. Your your gingies are so sticky cute. Hi, Katharina. Aw, I didn't even know you were in here. Well, I just don't. I know that you guys probably have other people. Where did I put that? That you want to watch and, you know, and I'm taking probably too much time. Ooh, Terry, you're trying to hurry up too fast. Now you can't even think what you're doing. Stop. Hold up. Wait a minute. All right. Hey, Shelly Stacklin. Don't worry, I have a cat that gets into everything no matter where I put it. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, cats would be a little bit harder, right? Because they can get all over. Yes, finally had to take the pups out. <laughs> So let's put in a little bit of the gold pigment and see what we got. I have a half an hour. <laughs> How are you? How are you, Shelly Stacklin and Katharina? God, I just love your name. It's such, so pretty. All right, look at that, y'all. Can you see that goodness that's happening in there? So if you guys seen, I did, I put in the pigment fix first, and then I put in the powder. So I've been trying to do it the opposite way, where I put the powder in after the pigment fix. And I feel like it's, I don't know, it works better because... First of all, I I don't know. I feel like I can control, like, okay, that's how much pigment fix is in there, and then I drop in the powder. I don't know. It just seems like it mixes better for me. I don't even know if it makes a difference, but yay. I'm glad you guys are both well. You're peachy. All right. But yeah, so I don't know if it makes a difference, but I've been mixing them that way lately when I do stuff, and I've just been finding that I like doing it that way. Okay, let's take her little dress and get in. Why well, I didn't use my small cups are beyond me. So if you have the um, 
Liquid gold, you could do that too with right here. Oh, so cute. gotta have the bling on and then we'll do her face details on sunday um we'll do all of their face details on sunday because we got to give her like you know some eyelashes and what is the name of the dish again miriam if I were doing that, the button would be huge because of the mess. <laughs> That's why I change brushes, Rennie, and use the detail brushes to try to uh, cut that down as much as possible. Because <laughs> trust me, I it will get like that for me too. You know what, you guys, I wanted to do, um, I wanted you guys, if you were comfortable, to send me your birthdays. I know it's on Facebook, or some of you guys put it on Facebook, but I thought it would be so neat to, like, when it was your birthday, to send you guys something. To send it, you know, before it was your on your actual birthday. and Because you all know I don't sing. I'm not going to sing. But I could send you a little something, something for your birthdays. So you guys are going to have to, like, you know, I don't need to eat the year or get all into your business. But, like, send me the, um, look, y'all. Just, like, send me the month and the day. Aren't they cute? And then I could send you guys little birthday presents. Oh, my goodness. So now, though, I don't know if we want to do, if we should bring out more detail on her dress. Because um, we can get, like, well, we'll do that later. But we can get some of the white wax or we can either get some of the clear and, you know, do... Um, make the stand out a little bit more too yeah just message me through uh messenger so you don't put your business all out here you know just send me your month and your day and then um because i know some of you are libras like i am i know some of them are coming up um you know so we'll just start that from now on and then just send me y'all do you guys see this and you're laughing at me because you don't, aren't telling me the, the lid? Or did I just do something dumb and like throw it away or something? I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, if you don't mind, send me your, um, the, your birth, your month and your day. And then that's what we'll... See, I knew it. Callie, you're the day before mine. I know somebody was close to me. I knew somebody was close to me. You're the day before me, Callie. Um, and then that's what we'll start. We'll, you know, because I always say that I would love to be able to give each and every single one of you something. But, you know, and the reason why I love doing the wheel is because it is very random, right? I don't pick anybody and I don't like that up and down up and down thing because I don't know if I don't go up enough or down enough I can't get everybody and blah 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 so the wheel at least is fair for everyone right but um but I thought like this way if we do like if I have your birthdays then I will be able to give something to everyone because Martin your birthday is on Trevor's birthday 
Or Trevor's birthday is on your birthday. He's December 1st, too. September 3rd. October 1st is your dog. Really? Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. So, yeah. December 24th. Oh. Christmas Eve. So, yeah. So, I know you guys are sending them here. But if you also send me um, on Messenger would be really hurt. That's why I can't find the lid, y'all, because it's on the wrong jar. Um, because sometimes when I go back to the comments, Facebook is filtered out comments, and then I can't see them all. October 12th? What? Shelly Stafford? I knew I loved you, you doggone Libra baby. All right. I'm sorry today went extra long. Um, something that I really love is painting molds, and then I know it's super boring, but Anyhow, I will put on the second because, see, now it's all transparent. So that's ready for step two. I'll put on step two right now when I get off of here. And then um, do you want me? Good morning. October 3rd. October 3rd. Um, and then um, did you guys want me to paint the rest with you guys or should I just finish them? <laughs> yeah, you guys can all put them down here. Um, and then if I, um, I was telling them, Shelly Stacklin, this is the last year in my 40s, y'all. I'm going to be 50 next year. I'm going to be a big girl next year. <clears throat> Aw, okay. Well, if you want me to finish painting with you guys, I will. Because obviously, she's not even close to done, right? So she needs her face done. We need more work on her dress. Um, you know, we need to put more um, stuff on her. So, but I don't mind. I'll finish with you guys if you guys want me to. I just thought you guys were getting bored. Um, 9.20. Gosh, you got 9.20. Oh, Jamie. Happy belated birthday, Jamie. Doggone it. I'll continue watching you now if you stay on. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I turned 50 the day the COVID pandemic was announced. Oh, man, Marcia. Christmas in July, Beth. Aw. You turned 60 last week. Happy belated birthday. It is my first time I have to follow you. Oh, well, thank you for being here. I would love for you to follow me. I appreciate it. April 5th, 723. You guys know that I'm going to have to. I'm, you know what? Before I exit out of here, I'm going to go through and write them all down. Because I don't. I know I can get them in here. And I don't trust FB won't filter these. So I'll get them all. So I will get them all. All right, you guys. Once again, um, I'm pretty sure all of you have told me that you did all the things. Now, where did I put my stinking mouse? Oh, it's over here. So I will put my, let's do this and then do this. So, yeah. Oh, thanks, Sue. So I do have, um, Telegram. Wow. Whew. So if you want to um, sign up for my Telegram, Sue, just put in the link. I will always um, send out a little message 15 minutes before I'm going to go live. So that way, you know, just in case you're not getting the messages from the book, I always give you a 15 minute warning. So good luck, everybody. As always, I thank you so very much for doing all the things. Um, good luck. <laughs> Teresa Cherry. Teresa Cherry, congratulations. Teresa, if you can please message me your information troy troy and i will pack a box for you um rinny i seen that you did that ex exclamation telegram but i haven't turned on the chat box 
So I don't think you'll get anything. You'll have to let me know, but I haven't turned on the chat box, so I don't know if you'll get anything. Um, but I will try to turn it on. It's see, you guys, I don't know if you guys ever wonder why I'm under Terry Lightsey and not under like some big name because I'm old school days, old school days where we just did our names. We didn't have like a store name or a business name. So my profile wasn't, isn't set like that. So that's why if you ever see me in the chat on somebody else's like, I don't have follow by my name or anything like that, because us back in the day when we came on, we didn't do all this store business name stuff. So when people are like, well, what's the name of your channel? I'm like, me. <laughs> just me. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Um, I am on with Tammy from Flippin' Furniture tomorrow. Um, she hasn't been on Creative Hour yet, so she will be on Creative Hour for her first time tomorrow. But she is one of our amazing retailers, so she's going to be amazing. So tune in tomorrow because, you know, we give away goodie bags every weekend there. And then I will come on on Sunday because I want to paint and play and do all the things so anyhow thank you all for being here and putting up with me because this was an extremely long one today mm -hmm. so i will see mm -hmm. you guys on sunday i will talk mm -hmm. to you later mm -hmm. bye